Good morning, folks. I uh, want to show you the uh, improvements I've made to the battery test chamber. If you remember from the last video about this, I'm using a, a, a glass bowl that I bought for the cover. And uh, this is a, a plastic uh, plant dolly that I got from the plant uh, store. And then I've got uh, uh, this clamp here that I modified and mounted in the middle. I drilled a hole and then uh, I've got it actually upside down like this. And I took some JB weld and uh, I welded a, a, a bolt, uh, a quarter inch by an inch and a quarter, I think, a hex head bolt onto the bottom of this, drilled a hole, stuck it down through there, and then I do a washer on this side and a washer and a wing nut on the other side. And it just it turned out that this, these uh, legs, from the casters is uh, it's the same height as this right here, so it, it <laughs> and it just worked out that way. So I've got a nice uh, extra leg right in the middle, so I can put a lot of weight on there. Not that I would want to, but anyway, I can do that. And uh, and then for the uh, for the for this part here, I'm I I like the way this turned out because. Uh, I was worried about, um, you know, for testing your battery, I, I wanted to have a consistent amount of pressure I could put on the battery to hold it together, and uh, and I didn't want to just clamp it together, uh, because then you don't know exactly how much pressure you put on there, and so I, I took the uh, top of this clamp apart here, and I removed, I removed this trigger here, and I removed this trigger here, and with the springs and everything, so now it just slides up and down on there, and the weight, the weight of the, uh, the weight of the top of the clamp will put in a consistent pressure on on the battery to test it. And if I want to change the pressure, I could add some weights or something, or washers maybe on the, on this here. But uh, that's a, a couple of ounces right there, and I think that'll be fine. It looks like it'll be fine, and. With this well down in here, the height of the battery when I mount it in here is is just slightly, it's like a half inch higher than uh, this lip or ledge right here. So, uh, and that'll make it nice because of the pH sensors. I got to have two pH sensors go in there. I'll just mount one on either side, uh, and then that'll they'll be able to slide right into the to the battery there like that. So the pH sensors will go up in here, and uh, I don't know where I'll put the other sensors yet, <laughs> but uh, I'll wait till I get them and then figure out the best place to put them. So uh, there we go, that's the, the first improvements, and I'll be getting the data logger for the volts and amps and stuff will be coming in first, so I'll put uh, mount that in there, and I'll probably run the wires for it up underneath and come up through here. And then um, maybe put, uh, I don't know, I'll mount it in there some way. But uh, so that'll come out through the bottom over here, and uh, so to keep it nice and clean inside. Okay, thanks for watching. Oh no, not yet. Uh, one more thing on these caster uh, legs down here for this. These are really mounted into this really good and. And you don't want to pull the whole caster off. You leave these leave the legs on there, and then uh, just take a, a screwdriver and slowly and gently pry the uh, wheel off of the caster leg. Uh, that way, you don't uh, if you try to pull that out, or you break that for sure. So that's that's how I build it, and I'll keep you informed as I go. Thanks for watching.